Hi guys, Josh here, and today is Sunday, and I went to the car boot, almost did not go, had about two hours sleep, my brain has not been playing nice recently, it's really struggling, I don't know why, it's getting to the point now where it's kind of winding me up, I've had this issue for about six months now, where I just have not been able to sleep properly, um, I'm generally not feeling sleepy, and then when I do fall asleep, I kind of have to get up or if I don't have to get up, I'm sleeping until very late in the day, which is not appropriate for what I'm doing. So it's causing a few issues. So I need to get that looked at and maybe try a few medications or something. I don't know, but almost didn't go today, but I knew I needed to go. I need some stock. I need to get listing. Um, for all of you do, who watched my um, full-time reseller goals, sort of guide, tutorial, whatever it was that I did, um, I said I wanted to make £100 this month in August and I've achieved that. So I have £100 plus profit now, which is great. Next month is £200 and every single month after that, it just add £100 on. So this time next year, I'll be on £1,200 profit per month. Um, so in order to get there, I need more stocks to list because at the moment I don't have a lot. Um, I have just ordered a huge load of stuff to send to Amazon just to try out, just to see what it's like. Um, I'm not expecting too much from that. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I got. I got a huge filler bag for two pounds. This is the gigantic Asta freezer bag. And I've got some other things in there that I purchased at the first car boot. And then the second car boot was really busy, but the filler bag was the only thing I sort of was pulled to basically. It was the only thing I got. Um, now I will say about the filler bag, the fact that I have my other stock in there and my coat kind of shows I didn't even fill it to the top. It was kind of dire when I got there. There was some good stuff, but it was it had been cherry picked. Um, the guy does 50p per item or fill a bag for two pound. So obviously I could fill a bag and get some money on two pound, but there wasn't enough to fill it to the top. But now I think about it now I'm home, I probably could have filled it to the top, even with stuff that I couldn't resell, either just to use as like, stuff for me, like scrap paper or whatever for me, or donate to the charity shop. I'm sure a charity shop would have liked some mugs if they were in good condition, or glasses if they were in good condition. Um, I kind of wasn't thinking about that at the time. Now I think about it, I probably could have done that. If I do it again, I will definitely make sure it's filled to the top to get my money's worth. And also so I can give some donations to a charity shop. So that'd be good. So let's start with the stuff I got on the first car boot. One of these lullaby baby sleeping aid things. Carla pointed these out to me ages ago. I got it because it was 50p. Now I had not done my research onto them. I kn knew I should have done when Carla mentioned it. Um, whenever you see things mentioned on videos or on Facebook, always do your research because someone might say something's great and you might go and buy it and it might not be very good, okay? Because there's different types of things, different sizes. This is the small size, this is also a large size. I didn't do my research, so I actually passed on two more of these. So I got this one because it was 50p. The other two were, I think, over a pound each. I think one was, the bigger one was two and the smaller one was uh, 150 or something. 50p, I was worth, worth the risk. I'm not gonna moan about that. I've now done a bit of research into them. I need to do a bit more. This one here sells for about the 7.99 mark. So 50p to 7.99, not bad. I think I'll pick them up for about maybe a pound maximum. Um, it's in good condition. There's a little mark on the sort of shell. It's a hard shell. You've got the buttons for the music lights and the stars because these are stars. It sort of projects onto the ceiling and has music and stuff. Um, she said it works. You know what people are like at car boots. They all say it works. So hopefully it does. I'll have to put some batteries in and check it. So 50p. And I've actually got a bit of cardboard and a pen. So I'm actually going to write down the stuff and how much I spent so I can add all up at the end. Comforters, I got um, this one is a Matalan one, it was 50p, it's like a triangle shape one, good condition, no idea on price, comforters usually go between 5 and 10 pounds, um, so 50p into 5, I'm still happy with that, they're very easy to post. Um, this one, though, won't go as large letter, but Hermes does the, um, was it lower than a kilo post box size or something, letter box size? I have to look into it. If it's 
bigger than 2.5 centimeters, I can send it that way and it would only be about one pound 80 or to ship. So it's two and that's 50p. I then got another comforter, which is, I think this is George. George, I've not had this one before. 50p, uh, good condition again. Again, pff, five to 10. Now, was that everything? No. How could I forget this little baby? <laughs> this is a Canadian Blue Mountain Pottery Duck. I think that's how you say it. I think it's Blue Mountain Pottery. Um, 50p. Love the guy. Literally caught my eye. I'm so tempted to keep this for myself, especially now it's not actually worth a lot resale value-wise. Um, I'll be lucky to maybe get five pounds for him. But... It's just so cute. Like, just saw him like that on the, the thing, and it's just... Ugh, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It's just me being a bit weird when I buy things like that. But that's my taste. Stuff like that, stuff like that is what I like to buy. So, we had him. It's 50p. And let's get into the filler bag. Now, I literally grabbed anything that I think I could have used. So let's just start with some random things. A... Very fancy looking wine bag, a jute bag, which would be okay if I get like a jewellery necklace or something. So that's two items. I got a Ellie Loves Beauty. LL Loves Beauty, Ellie Loves Beauty, it's, I believe it's a makeup bag. It's brand new. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I'm not gonna complain for filler bag. Um, another weird happy birthday thing that'll come in handy for for me personally. Some bubble wrap in here. Is that actually any present? No, no present. But there's some bubble wrap. Um, it's an auntie's birthday coming up. I can just use that for that. So that's more of a personal thing. But I'll mark it down as a business expense because I may end up selling it as a bundle with those two. I'll see. Some clover leaf placemats, never been used in the box. Um, they originally were four pound fifty. Um, yeah, originally four pound fifty. They have never been used. Quite literally, never been out of the box. Never been used. But they're all there as well, which is great. Um, so I grabbed them. Fill a bag. I'm not gonna moan. And then he had a load of DVDs. And I mean like a load of DVDs. Kids DVDs. Now I know that kids DVDs kind of do okay in bundles. So I kind of just grabbed them all. Um, I was worried he was gonna say I have to pay more for the DVDs. So I kind of snuck them in, but I think it was fine. I got a, I haven't checked if they're all in there. Most of them are. I got a Hello, Hello Kitty, a Fifi and the Flower Tots. A Shimmer and Shine, a free volume Princess Disney Stories one, a Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, another Hello Kitty, a Barbie and Pony's Tale, and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight DVDs. Them alone would have been over two pounds if you buy them, you know, from the traders. Sorry, I just make sure I did my stuff. Uh, oh, I did grab them. I f didn't think I grabbed these. Let's show these because I honestly thought, oh, I didn't grab them. And I was kind of angry with myself that I didn't pick them up, but I did apparently. These are just some Winnie the Pooh mugs. Disney. They are official Disney, I believe. And they're just some nice Winnie the Pooh mugs. They've obviously been drank out of. They're not damaged at all. But as a pair, I might get eight or nine quid, maybe. Um, let's show this because I literally saw this and I was like, oh my God, this can't be true. What does that sound like? 
It's a Lego Dimensions fun pack. Very squished and damaged. I'm actually going to open it up now just to see if it's here. Because I can't sell it in a really damaged box. But, um, yeah. It's all there. Uh, let me just double check. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Yeah, DC Comics, it's all there. So what I'll do is I'll put the box on there and say the box is damaged, won't be sending it, but it's brand new. Uh, it's never been opened. Uh, I would scan it, but my phone is recording it. These retail for about seven pound, I think. Um, and it's Lego. So even if I don't sell it as, you know, this, BritLink part out would be at least four or five pounds. That's my money back on the bundle already, just from the Lego set. Couldn't believe I found that. I was quite lucky with that, I think. Um, these, which I thought were a little bit weird. There are some sort of like smoky grey glasses. Um, I don't think they're drinking glasses. I think they're can tea light holders. So... Yeah, I'm going to give them a good clean and maybe they're heavy base. I think they're tea light holders. But hey, I chucked them in. Not damaged. Uh, might as well. Lightsaber. Uh, not damaged. I don't actually know whose this is. It's red. Um, I'm going to assume then it's Star Faders, it's Luke's. Luke's? Anakin's. Mm. <laughs> I should know that. Oh, hang on. Uh, is that why? Oh, no, it does. It's just a bit, just a bit stiff. But yeah, it's a little bit of scuffing marks. But hey, a couple of quid. Someone might like that for Christmas. Carla, these are your fault. If they don't sell, I'm giving them to you. I'm only joking. I've seen Carla sell these once or twice fill a bag i'm not gonna moan it's um curtain rings it's just a bag of them i don't know how much that's worth but there's a good good two dozen in there um loose dvds i was grabbing anything because i thought i would out in the chipmunks santa claus the movie Door of the Explorer, City of Toys. Um, a Barbie movie that might be for one I actually have there. Sunday Telegraph, Hidden Worlds. Inca Mummies. Oh, I might actually might like to watch that one. Uh, the Internship. Look, who, look Who's Talking To. Coco Before Chanel. Cloud with a Chance of Raining Meatballs 2. Daddy Daycare. Now, they're pretty scratched up. They're not terrible. Um, I might just vlog these as one big lot, maybe for a couple of quid. Easy to post, easy to package. Someone's probably going to want them for something. Um, yeah, I should get something for them, hopefully. Again, fill a bag. I'm not going to moan. I got... Let's do these, because that's all... Ooh, one I got... Some stationary things. I think these are from the pound shop. I got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. The package is pretty damaged, but I'm sure I can just bundle these together for a couple of quid. A Mickey Mouse one and a Toy Story 3 one. Again, chuck them in, fill a bag. That'll probably be one bundle for a couple of quid, maybe. Uh, da -da -da. I got these, but I think these are going to be for my grandmother. She does um, Christmas car crafts, so I'll probably give them to her. Um, so that's not really something I'm going to class as an uh, expense. Let's do this. A brand new, never used um, Winnie the Pooh card kit, I think this is. I thought it was a, um, like a sewing kit, but it's not. It's a car, handmade card kit. Um... 
So yeah, these are a couple of quid in the shops. Gotta get something for that. I grabbed this. Why did I grab this? Um, I actually don't know. Mm. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. Don't, anything that goes in the mouth, I don't want to touch. Okay, why did I grab this? Ah, yes, because of you. Is he not one of those little people that Sue was always on about? He's got no markings. Sue, I think you watch my videos. I'm sure you know what that is. Is it Fisher Price? It's, it's got a hole in the bottom. I think you said something about a hole in the bottom of them. I can't remember. I have to watch your videos, Sue. Uh, what else is in here? A weird knight viking man. Um, a brio man. Brio, I think, is a construction toy thing. A weird little blue duck. Someone's a little weird blue duck. Uh, ah! And a tiny little pep uh, pepper. George and his dinosaur. Um, his legs fold, but nothing else. Um, so, yes, that was all from that, really. And this horrible... Thing you put in your mouth. Ooh, almost broke my glasses. That is heavy. Right, I class that as one. I think that's just gonna be like for bundle fodder, really. Just class that as one. Um, and this I just threw in. It looked old and looked interesting. Um, it's I don't know. Where's the brand? Fish, Fishka? Lomography.com And it says on the front Fish, fish eye It says um, Lomography.com is This says on the cap I have no idea It looks like a vintage camera It might just be like a one that's made to look vintage Um I don't think there's any... Oh, there's a battery in it. Oh. So it's a vintage-looking battery-powered one? I have no idea. Is there any film in it? Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. It might be jammed. That was the battery. I know that have to look into it. I think the back might be jammed. Because how do you turn it on? That, apparently. I'll look into it. It might not be worth anything. I got a Hello Kitty case, pencil case, but it's filled with face makeup. Um, which Now I think about it, I don't really want. I didn't. I thought it was new face makeup, and I just looked at it, and it's not. So that's probably going to go in the bin. I'm afraid to say, but hey, I almost gave it a life, so I will just mark that as um, a bad one. Put it over there. Um, I got this lady, Cinderella. Cinderella. I don't know my Disney princess. Cinderella. I think this, bear with, it's official Disney. It's copyright is reserved for Bully Land, wherever that is. So I was thinking I could stick this on eBay as a cake topper. Imagine that on top of a kid's cake. That's what I'm thinking, cake topper. God, we're 19 minutes in. I'm so sorry you're having to go through this. I got a weird little grab bag of stuff. I don't know what's in it. It just looked like some little toys. We've got... Tiny little Ariel. A weird, half a woman with some weird long hair. 
a pig from the Angry Pigs, which is broken. A tiny little I don't know my princesses. Is that Cinderella again? Who's the pink one? Who's the pink one? Another one with like half a thing. See, I don't know what these are, but um, I've got loads of them and they're like little buildable characters. They're not um, like poly in my pockets. There's something else. So I need to look into these. Um, I think they're Barbie. I think they're Barbies or Barbie things. So yeah, a bag of them. And a weird dinosaur. Don't know what that'd be worth. A couple of quid maybe. I might do auctions for some of this stuff. I don't know. Oh, I got a, a random pencil. Okay. Make sure I do a tick. Got this. This has got some weight to it. This is a garlic press. However, it's quite unique. So that's the side you do the garlic. But then if it gets stuck in here, you then, this is like spiky. You twist it and you push the spikes into it and then it shoot all the garlic back out that side. So it's like a two in one. It's got no markings on, but I'm sure if I give it a bit of a clean, that'd be worth something. It's very heavy though. So that's my only concern. I got... This grab bag, purely because I spotted these. These are... Uh, Star Wars. They don't look like they're great condition, so I don't know where they're from. But uh, that's Anakin Skywalker. you got Or Singh. And... I think that's Cody, but it says they're made in China, so I don't think they're real. I'm not too sure. I have to do a bit of research into them. Ah, he's got a hole in his back, so maybe they're not real. Don't know. We'll do research. And then in here, I've also got a Playmobil little girl and some cars, which are just made in China. Now that one's got eyes, so I assume that's from cars. Have to research. Um, so yeah, there's also some Lego. Is that actually Lego? I have some, a little bit of Lego in there as well. So yeah, another weird bag. I don't know how much that'll be, but just filling it up. We're almost at the end, people. We're almost there. I got... This is from Pokemon. I don't know its name, but it opens its mouth. Ra! This is a McDonald's toy, I believe. Pokemon made for McDonald's. Yes. Um, Sue, if you're watching, I might need your help again. I don't know what these are. Um, it says 1999 Joffrey Inc. China. Tiny little people. Okay, it's a little girl. She's got arms and her legs bend. Um, her head twists. She's um, not hollow. I don't know what she is. Maybe she is Joffrey. Maybe that's the company who makes them. Not sure. And then I have this woman who is also hollow like the other man I had earlier. Um, so I think she's the same. Maybe. Not sure. Um, and then a, a playable pirate man. Uh, might just drop all the playable stuff into one. I've got a... Burger King Detective Pikachu toy, brand new. I've got a Pokemon Piplup, which is actually like a, my favorite uh, Pokemon. I've got a few favorite Pokemon. So I'd cast those figures as one and let's cast the Pokemon stuff as one. I have then got um, a, what is this? A Poke uh, McDonald's Angry Birds set, a another Pokemon McDonald's set, a weird Nerf balloon set, and 
a Snoopy, no, Peanuts. Is that Snoopy? Yeah, Snoopy McDonald's set as well. And then a weird Banana Joe, Banana Dancing thing, McDonald's thing. And that is it. So let's call them two. So we got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31. 31, I believe, if I've done that correctly. 31 items for two quid. Okay. So, uh, 31 at a pound. I can't do maths, wow. Uh, 31 at a pound would make them, what, about three pence each? 31 at two would make them about six or seven pence each, if I'm correct. Yes. So I've paid about, let's say, 7p per item bundle there. So DVDs were 7p each. The um, McDonald's toys were 7p each. The glasses were 7p I'm sure I can make over 7p on everything here. Apart from this, which is going in the bin. Because it's not as good as I thought. But yeah. And I get a free insulated bag. Hurrah! They're worth like a pound, aren't they? So that was everything. I'm going to go because it's been 26 minutes. Oh my god. Um, and I hopefully see you all very soon.